Hi guys, um, I'm actually going to do my empties because I've got stuff that I have finished and um, some of it I would never ever touch again with a barge pole and other stuff I definitely have to get when I am desperate to get stuff. Um, right now again I'm on like a really big money saving thing so I think I'm actually going to have to start an X pan again and it, I'm not going to pre-plan the products I'm just going to basically keep finishing products until I get to like 20. Once I finish 20 products I'm then allowed to buy makeup. Last time I did 25 so I think I might do 25 products um, because I really 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 need to save money so that is my new starting plan from today. Um, so no more buying anything honestly um, so stuff I have finished again we know how I love to put every single item that I physically own in this thing so I finished two deodorant cans which um, is a really good thing also before I go in to like other stuff I'm using this horrible deodorant at the moment and um, the thing is I really like the smell of it it's like this dove minimizing like prickly feeling between shaves under your armpits but I don't like that whole sticky thing like I don't like the whole roll on thing I just because my deodorant is usually the last thing I put on before I put my shirt on for work so um, and I, I'm, I've been doing that for like years and years so I'm not in the habit of putting my deodorant on when I get up or after I've showered and then I just literally put it on as I physically leave the house and before I put my shirt on. So having something that is just really sticky under my pits, I'm just not a fan of. Um, but the smell of it is like really quite good. Um, mixed with a bit of armpit smell. It it smells really, really nice. So um, if they make this in a spray, which I think they do, then I'm probably going to buy the spray version. But don't, don't buy this because it's just so sticky. Anyway, that was completely irrelevant to my video. Um, that is the Garnier Pure Active Concentrated Formula X Faux Brushier Wash, which actually I really like, but I don't like using this on my face. I just find it's too much of like a chore to keep squeezing this thing up. So what I ended up doing was just squeezing it out onto my hand and then using that with like a little spongy thing to actually wash my face with. But uh, the product is really nice. It's got salicylic acid in it, so obviously it kind of helps with acne and stuff. So really nice face wash, but I wouldn't use this thing. And it's a Garnier Skin Naturals, which I, I really do like. Um, next thing, oh my god, guess, guess what? Guess what I finished? banging their friggin' heads together. I hate these things. Honestly, I hate them with a passion. Um, clean and Clear Morning Burst and Clean and Clear Blackhead Clearing Scrub. There's still product in there, but I, I know I'm just not going to use it. Like, it's just really ridiculous product. Um, I have done a products I absolutely hate video, and these two products are actually the only products in it. So have a look at that video if you haven't seen it. Um, I've been told it's quite a funny video, but... I was actually quite mad when I did it so it's kind of a bit of a rant video so these products I'm never buying ever again and if you want these beads stuck up your nose constantly then that's fine keep buying the product but I just absolutely hated these so I'm never going to buy them again um, I got a sample of Clinique Super Defense Moisturiser I really liked it but it stinks um, it just has this horrible like old feet smell to it um, not like smelly feet, but like an old person's feet. That just sounds like I smell old people's feet. But it just has this horrible smell to it. And so I ended up using it just before I went to bed as like a nighttime moisturiser. Because I just found I really didn't want to put this on my face during the day. Even though when I used it overnight and had it on the next morning, like it was really, really nice. So definitely something I might consider buying, but I'd only use it as like a nighttime thing. That can go in the bin. Uh, this, which again I have to buy once I win the lottery. These are like so expensive. Like even the trial packs are like twenty quid for like this and a moisturiser. Well, actually, I suppose that's not really a bad price. Um, I really do love this stuff. I know there's lots of controversy about using this stuff, but I found that when I used it for the first six months, my skin was absolutely flawless, and then gradually my skin started getting worse and worse and worse, and I thought maybe I'm using it too much and it's drying out my skin, which is what it was doing, so basically I only use it at night, like I use um, 
well, when I had the product, I'm using other stuff up, up at the moment, but when I had the product, I was um, using it just at night, like when my face was completely clean, and I found that actually my skin kind of liked it again, and my skin started clearing up, so don't you overuse this stuff, because it is quite strong, and I need the number three, because I have really oily skin, um, definitely a really good product for people with acne skin, and oily skin in my opinion, I can't say for people with dry skin, because I have really oily skin and it worked well for me, provided that I just used it once a day. Um, so we'll definitely get that one day when I win the lottery. Another product that smells like feet is this um, Soap and Glory Cleansing Milk. I don't know if it's meant to smell like this, but it smells like gone off tea. Like when you leave a mug of tea out for too long. I'm just so disgusting. And it gets to the point where it starts to smell. It's like feet and like tea, at like by like mouldy tea, it just has a really nasty smell, so I definitely wouldn't buy this again. Um, in terms of as a product, yeah, I would say it's quite a good product. I used to just put it on like a cotton pad and then swipe it all over my face to remove as much makeup as I could and then I'd go and wash my face with like one of my face washes. Um, probably wouldn't buy it again because of the smell. You know what, the smell is so off-putting that I thought that I had a dud one, like I thought I had a gone off one. That's kind of what it smelt like to me, that it was actually it was gone off. Um, so maybe I'll go into Boots again and smell them and just see if any of the others smell like this. And if they don't, then obviously I had a dud gone off one. But that's, I can't figure out whether it's something wrong with it or whether it's just supposed to smell like that, but it was a really nasty smell. Um, so I probably won't be buying that again because the thing is, at the moment, all I'm using to like get rid of my makeup is these little, like, uh, cucumber oil filled pads to get rid of my eye makeup and then I'm just like washing the rest of it off with like my face wash which is what I'll keep doing until I run out of stuff and then eventually I'm going to have to buy something else but then I've got this I can use which is like my pond cold cream cleanser this makes my skin feel amazing but I feel like I have to use quite a lot of it for it to work um kind of nearly finished that as well so um, I will have to be buying something to cleanse my skin with I'm sure I'm gonna find something in my room that I can use because I'm not gonna buy anything till I've got no makeup left so really have to think about money and I will explain all of this to you guys um, and about why I was a bit upset earlier um, in like another video maybe in a couple of weeks or something um, so yeah definitely getting rid of the feet smell and not probably repurchasing that the last couple of things actually this is my gosh primer um unfortunately i had to waste a little bit of this because look look what happens like when i so it comes out and then it's like lumpy and then it like does this like and rolls into little bits which is really unattractive on your face and i think it's because i lost the lid and then it was like exposed and then it just like dried up um definitely a product I would consider repurchasing again but at the moment I've got the Stila One Step Corrector Primer so I'm probably going to use that up first and then if I can't get hold of the Stila then I would definitely go back to repurchasing my Goss Primer because I really liked it I've never had any problems with it and it's just generally a really good primer so and it was what I was using before I got the Stila so definitely probably go back to it um, another product which I love is my Love Etc Body Shop Spray, which I've completely finished. I don't know why I'm spraying it. I knew there was nothing in there. Um, really, really love this stuff. Um, with the Body Shop, I always go in and I smell new ones and then I like new ones. So I never end up buying the same one again because there's always like another one that I really like. And the ones I like, the other ones I like are Neroli Jasmine and the Moroccan Rose. Like that's they're the two I think I've got. Actually, no, Neroli Jasmine I finished last time. Moroccan Rose is the one I've got left, and that's just really, really nice every day kind of. If you get a waft of it when someone walks past, it just smells really yummy. So, probably not going to buy this again, but actually, probably at some point later on down the line, I might buy it again. But I did really enjoy using that. Sorry, my bin's just under there, so I'm just chucking everything away. Um, another lip balm that I finished. Um, it's really disgusting because I used the scissors that I used to, like, cut my the tops of my eyebrow, like, eyebrows off, like, the the funky bits that stick up basically I use those scissors to like scrape and then there's like lots of little hairs in there so I figured I don't really want to be using that on my lips <laughs> I'm disgusting so that's going to go in the bin quite exciting stuff the last thing is a product I most definitely will go back to at some point which is my 
Number seven, Shine Free Makeup Base. Oh my god, if you want your face matte all day, this is the stuff to use. Honestly, it's amazing. And when you squeeze it out and you rub it into your hand, it's quite a thick frictiony sort of texture so you know that it's going to like totally mattify your face so it's too like i don't know what the word is like dry to put on by itself so i always used to mix it in with my moisturizer because it never used to go on nicely by itself it used to leave like white patches on my face so really 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 amazing makeup base and it was one that i managed to get my friend to buy because i thought it was so good um so that i will definitely buy again but i think once I've used up my other primers and stuff like that because I just don't need more primer stuff at the moment with all the other stuff that I've got so those are the products I have just finished nothing else in my box but I'm definitely starting an expand so oh god please don't ask me to buy any more makeup um, if I have vouchers then I will go out and buy makeup but if I don't have vouchers I'm not going to buy anything else because I can't really justify it but if you want looks with certain colours, I can do that because I'm sure I've got them somewhere. But I just don't want to go out and buy new stuff because I just don't think that's a very clever idea. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or requests or anything, please leave them below. And please subscribe, rate and comment. And lots of requests because I like them. I've got loads at the moment actually, so I don't know why I'm asking for more. But it's always nice to find out what you guys want to watch. So, thank you very much and I'll see you soon.